Hello everyone, I'm with Arafat. Hello everyone. <laughs> so Arafat is uh, in a small farm called La Ferme du Bosquet, producing uh, chickens and uh, vegetables. And now we are, we are experimenting with um, syntropic farming. Okay, so I will let Arafat explain you what they are doing on the farm. <laughs> So can you tell us what was the what why did you started this, this uh, experiment? Uh, this experiment of syntropic farming. Uh, we uh, with, with Lucille, my wife, we, we 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 always wanted to have trees, lots of trees in our farm. And since we are vegetable farmers, we would like. Well, we look for a system that we can have both at the same time. And uh, our friend uh, Opalin uh, introduced us to this idea of syntropic farming. And it caught, it caught us really like that and we, we really like it. So now we, we're starting a plot of uh, syntropic farming. It's, it's an experiment now. We don't really know a lot about it yet. <laughs> but there's always a start for everything. So, so what, what did you do? What was the purpose of the production here? Uh, now we, we have some fruit trees uh, and, 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 and also small berries uh, trees and, and we, we have also big trees that we will use to cut for biomass. Uh, we need to pass and we will mulch, yes, wood chip. We will chip it and then we will put it on the ground uh, as, as mulch. And since they are still young, we, we are also planting uh, legumes, vegetables here. Okay. And now we have, we have five uh, lines and each are about 20 meters long. Uh, we have three main lines, as you can see, one in the middle and on, the, and, 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 uh, on two on both extremities. And in between we have a, a smaller a line with the smaller trees. Uh, berries, elderberries, gooseberries, and black currants. Black currants. On the other, on the other lines, on the extremities, and in the middle, we have bigger trees. And hopefully, they will create a strata. Yes. The higher ones and the, the smaller ones and the and and the and the smallest ones. And now we are in the stage of uh, placenta, as they call it in syntropic farming. So now it's possible to have some veggies vegetables in between. So and when did you plant it? We planted this in February. We, we had a, a, a course here that is organized by Les Agronomes and with uh, Stephen Warner and Philippe Matou. It's growing well as well now as, as we can see. Can so, you show us maybe some examples of, of, the, of the trees? Of yes. the trees. We will start right here. Um, it's a quick one because we have about we, we planted about 200 trees I think and uh, a lot of varieties, different varieties and and I hope I can remember all of them. I will help you. This is uh, apples and this is uh, sol, elderberry no willow tree uh, willow trees willow trees um, black currants black currants. Uh, Poplars. Poplars. This is poplars. Poplars is a tree that grows really quick and uh, can get really big as well. Now we right here we have tomatoes, uh, bell peppers, basil, uh, parsley. We we have just planted them mm, maybe three days ago and now they are still in the stage of uh, adapting to the soil. Beetroots. Beetroots. Yes. Cabbage for winter figs which are still small when we, we we planted them from cuttings so i think it's going to take a this bit of time this is also a elderberry, elderberry from the cut cutting yes from the cuttings yeah. and also here you can see uh this is some small trees coming ah, yes. from uh, yes. nests Nest, yes of uh, different, trees of different trees from seeds yes and here we have uh, it's the middle line so the the, the 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 trees are mainly small ones we we, we also grow the veggies here you know we have onions and uh, salad we have uh, willow trees uh, grapes 
which will uh, grow and then uh, hopefully use uh, the willow tree as a as a tutor as a as a helper as to a grow helper. as a helper <laughs> i don't know the name yes and what else do we have here we, we planted some veggies here uh corn and in between we put navi so? yes and here is a residue of the faba beans yes the faba beans that we before before we we, we had faba beans here and what we did with it we 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 cut them and we put them inside the the mulch so that way when they decompose we don't lose it we don't lose all the uh azote nutrients nutrients what's azote Nit nitrogen 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 we in between the the lines we 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 sow um cover crops cover crops green manure as you call it so i have already passed with uh with my uh, bush cutter one time and we we put the 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 grass here as mulch after when we have the big trees we can cut them and then have uh, wood chips as well uh okay here we have uh, squash courgette yes squash. zucchini 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 uh, and oh wow the the beans ah, yes, are the, growing the, very the beans well are growing, yes. Yeah, yes. Nice. Here we have um, beans, uh, green beans, which are growing really nice. What are the trees here? It's a middle line. It's a middle line. So we have um, this is gooseberries. Gooseberries. gooseberries? Ah yes, gooseberries. Black currant, and this is a weed. Yes. From the f the same family as uh, eggplant. Okay. So we yes. didn't remove it because yeah. it's not making flowers and it's creating yes. uh, biomass. There's a lot of plants <laughs> and I think it's best if you do it in your place to, to have a chart yeah. and place it right in front of the plot so that way you, you see better. I w I'm gonna have to do it. I haven't done it yet but I'm gonna have to do it. You, you would like to d diversify what you sell to your customers yes. in the future? Yes, diversify. Yes, but I, I I don't know if 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 diversify is is the is the best way to describe it because that's how it's supposed to be. You need to have a few things and not just. But you will have perennial plants maybe in your baskets. Yes, 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 yes. So we will see if if this works and we are happy and we if we, we I hope we can find uh, our our system to work with this and hopefully we can have more and more plots like this or maybe have one or two lines in in the middle of our uh, vegetable production uh, mm. uh, garden and mm. ultimately in the in the chicken area so thank you very much Arafat Welcome. for <laughs> explaining it's challenging for it's Arafat challenging from, me, yes. from Malaysia yeah. speaking English and French and mixing all the names so thank you very much <laughs> Yes. And I wanted to precise also that if you have any questions, you can also uh, ask your questions to Felipe Amato and Steven Werner, who made the design of this plot. Yes, they, can, they, they help me a lot in terms of the species of the plants, because I, I, I don't really know a lot yet. It hasn't been a long time since I arrived in France. And um, yeah, we, I, uh, yes, they, they help me a lot in terms of the species of the plants, so which plants grow tall small and and, and that can that, that can that can be put in the in the design okay and it's one of the first experiments in temperate climate in temperate climate so yeah. we are always learning yeah. it's not a recipe and uh, everybody makes mistake and we are learn learning together but for now it's it's really beautiful <laughs> i hope we can uh, keep doing this and uh, I hope you can it will be we will have the result as 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 we want it. Thank you. <laughs>